So although I watched a lot of films by women last year, 305 to be exact, uh, all of which I had not seen before, there were many films directed by women that I did not get to, partly uh, things that were on my list that I other films got in their way, or, and especially when I did that poll and I had over 500 people submit films, and I wound up with a list that was over 1,000 strong. There was a lot of films on that list. And um, so I still have quite a pool of films by women to watch because there are literally thousands of them. I had someone on Twitter today ask me, if there really were more than 103 films made in the United States by women. That was a question that I got on Twitter today. and But the guy was just curious. He just didn't know. And I told him, yeah, there are thousands. And I sent him to the director list. If you've not gone to the directorlist.com, it's a great resource. You can sort by year and by genre if you're looking for films by women to watch. And he was like, whoa. And then he had some more questions and, you know, it got intense. But... The point of this video is that just because I spent the entire year last year watching films by women, that does not mean I'm going to stop watching films by women because there are so many to watch. And as I said in my wrap-up post that I hope you all read, um, Women in Film Los Angeles has challenged everyone to watch 52 films this year by women. That's a film a week. Use the hashtag 52 films by women. They have links to resources where you can find films to watch. It's a fantastic way to keep track of the films that you're watching and just sort of make yourself do it. Um, I know that not everybody has the capacity to like cut male film, male made films completely out of their life like I did. That's not, that was a little nuts and it was difficult <laughs> sometimes, um, but also very worth it. So if you do want to try that, I suggest it. I mean, I, I survived. But if you're, you know, you want something a little easier to do, 52 Films by Women is not a lot of films. It's one film a week. There are so many. There's already over 100 on Films by Women on Netflix because I my queue, I never even got through my entire queue that I started last year. That's how many. And then there's all these on Amazon. And I've just been talking for two whole minutes about this, and I haven't even told you what film I watched tonight. I got confused. Anyways. Um, what I watched tonight was a documentary from 1962. It's actually a short film by Farou Farouzad called "The House Is Black." I'm not even going to try to read the Persian name because I will butcher it. It is uh, a documentary about a leper colony, and it sort of so shows you um, not really. It's not. It could have been like. Look how terrible it is. And instead it was like, life is terrible for everybody. And it's more terrible in some places, but also beautiful. And it um, mixes in tidbits from the Old Testament and the Quran, and also uh, poetry by Faru Farazad. Unfortunately, she, this is the only film she made. She was a poet and is one of the best known uh, Iranian poets, like period, uh, Unfortunately, at the age of 32, she got into a car accident and died, having not made any other films. So it's, it's one of those, like, you want to watch her entire filmography, here you go. It's very depressing. That's depressing. The film is not depressing. It's a beautiful documentary about the strength of, of humanity and the fact that um, you shouldn't push others aside just because of your prejudice or what you think you know about disease and or um, just the human condition in general. It's it's quite good. I highly recommend it. Uh, there are a couple versions on YouTube. I'm sure they're probably bootleg. Sorry. Um, but they're there and they have English subtitles so you can watch it that way. I am sure it's on DVD somehow. Um, I'm going to click this link on Slant Magazine from 2005 that says it's a DVD review. Ah! It's a dead link. Okay, well, I, at some point, I think there was a DVD release. Um, but if not, you can watch. Not only can you watch the um, film on YouTube, there's someone took the Robert Osborne TCM introduction for it and stuck that on YouTube. So you can watch Robert Osborne talk about the film and then watch the film. Um, that's what I did. I try to watch Robert Osborne talk about films whenever possible. Came out in 1962. It's only 22 minutes. It's in Persian, but it has... Uh, subtitles, so you, you should watch it. Um, 
I'm excited to keep going and finding getting to all these other films that I didn't get to last year. I have an Anne Hui film that I really want to see that has been recommended so many times and I just didn't get to it last year and now I feel really bad so I'm gonna I'm gonna get to it next week probably. Um, and happy watching.